So you might see me lean down on occasion. Mickey is obsessed with these cat springs, and right now he keeps bringing it back to me to throw it. <laughs> you want me to throw it? You want the spring, Mickey? Yes. You want it? Yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, no, no, no. One. Two. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> Me to throw it again where'd it go go <laughs> um but anyway this video is going to be about the cabinets um basically um i consider this build a mix between a build and a no build because on one hand i had to do a lot of things i never did before like installing roof vents installing insulation the walls all this other kind of stuff and then I needed cabinets and <laughs> I did not want to build them as simple as they seem like you just start with a box when you start dealing with like hinges and doors and latches and all that other kind of stuff building cabinetry can actually get pretty complicated now luckily the box was square so my job would have been a little bit more simple but knowing what I know I thought the smartest thing for me to do since the box was square was to buy cabinets and so this video is going to cover that and then I'm going to come back and talk about a couple of the tweaks that I personally made to the cabinets after I bought them and installed them. But before we jump into the cabinets themselves, I do want to talk about two other items that were installed into the box truck. One of which I didn't realize I skipped until I edited together my bed video and that's my flip down table underneath the window. I had big plans for this flip down table and how it flipping down was gonna open up floor space and it would be better for it to flip down. And so I got some hinges that in fact do allow it to flip down. Now as I've lived in the space, what I found is I never actually flipped this thing down. But let's talk about what it is and it's really, really simple. The actual table is just a topper for a toolbox that I got from Home Depot. This meant I didn't have to cut it. The wood was already finished. It really looks like a nice little table without me having to do any additional work or finish work on the wood or cutting something to size. This size was perfect for fitting right underneath my window. To make it flip down, I got a couple of flip down brackets from Amazon. I used this style of bracket before in something ironically that did not work out in the minivan. I wanted to make a bed that sort of had a flip down leg portion. It was a whole thing and it did not work. Uh, but I did like the brackets and so I just got me another set of those brackets and they're actually kind of perfect for the table. They function perfectly for the job that they were intended to do. Now, ultimately, I did want this standing table to mostly function as a standing desk. And so I was very dedicated to that idea because I lived in low roof vans where I could not stand up. And so I wanted to take advantage of the chance to stand up and work, especially since there were so many times I just wanted to stand up and stretch while like a video was exporting or something. But I did want the option to sit down. Because the table was at standing desk height, that meant that I needed a stool or chair that was at bar stool height. Now, the most common stools you find in a store are at what's called counter stool height. Counter, counter stools are more common in kitchens. Counter height is a little higher than regular chair height, but not as tall as like bar stool height like you would find in a bar. Now, while there are some kitchens that do have bar stool height countertops for the most part they tend to be counter stool height and bar stool height is only found in actual bars but i needed a bar stool height stool and so i had to go into target and like look at boxes and honestly i took the only stool that was actually the right height
And with the attaching of the back of the bar stool, I now had a seat that I could sit at, at my flip down table. My cabinets, like my stool, are from dear old Target, or Target as it's more commonly known. By the way, I can half live at Target sometimes. In fact, I'm editing this video right now in the Target parking lot. But anyway, cabinets. After getting my bed done, it was time to get things off the floor and into cabinets that would be mounted on the wall, especially my food storage, which at this time was in bins on the floor. To give myself a decent amount of pantry space, I selected this 32 inch cabinet from Target, which seemed to be sort of open as to how it was used, but mostly used in like utility rooms. For the smaller space over my sink, I was looking at bathroom cabinets just because of their size. And I found one that I thought would work out okay. It was the right color. It was the right dimensions. There was a couple of things I wasn't in love with, but I was going to make it work. With prefab cabinets, it's hard to say what kind of quality you're going to get. But all you can do is unpack it, lay out the parts and pieces, and get started.
Once the cabinet was basically assembled, I needed a way to get it to the right height and still have my hands free to do all the mounting. So I set up my little footstool as a balance point. Things were still a little awkward, but I think it worked out pretty well to help me keep it up there while I was screwing things in. After mounting it securely to the wall and putting the doors on, I added some extra latches that I got from Home Depot, but those latches would turn out not to be enough and I would have to do something else. And with that, I had my out of the box cabinets. This cabinet right here was really the one I thought I might want to replace in the future, but it's starting to become a more permanent fixture. Number one, Mickey loves sleeping up on top of this one. So all the space on top of the cabinet was left on purpose for the cat to be able to get on top of the cabinets. Like I wanted him to be able to get up there. Um, a cat's life is not just flat space. It's all about having verticals. That's why we buy cats trees. So I wanted the box truck to essentially be his playground around my needs. Um, as opposed to trying to separate those two things and have like a cat zone and a human zone, I wanted the box truck to serve us both as much as possible. And he really loves that space up there. So another reason I don't see myself replacing this is I've kind of started to personalize it. In addition to hang hanging some hooks over here and starting to have some of my kitchen stuff hanging on the side, I now have like my Star Wars decal and my Star Trek decal. <laughs> <laughs> on here and so that gives it a little pop and personality to my nerdiness now in the more practical sense I've now added all sorts of latches this is one I've never seen before and I ran across it in the store and I wish I found this one first but I actually have because this one is heavy large and carries a lot of stuff like this is the largest volume storage I have for like kitchen stuff this is where most of my pots and pans and stuff are um, I like that I have both a latch system on the bottom and a latch system up here. I did have a different tiny little latch here at first and basically it didn't work. So when I found this, this became the perfect replacement. And when I remember to latch it, because there's been a couple of times I didn't and then I heard a lot of noise back here when I was driving down the road, it adds an extra layer of security between the two doors in addition to these bottom latches. And I repeated that over here with this one. And because they're white, a lot of times they blend in so much. Like from a distance, you don't even notice them until I point them out to people. And to me, baby latches are the easiest way to secure something that has a door. A swing open front open door on the road. The baby latches, they do the job. <laughs> and they do the job very well. I actually have a bunch of extra ones underneath my cabinet for situations that might come up in the future where... I might need them so I know when you set out on a build in your brain you're thinking about all the things that you have to build yourself but as seen here there's a lot of stuff I didn't build my, myself so much as put it together when I was a kid I really liked Legos there's actually Legos in the box truck right now because of how much I loved them growing up as a kid and with Legos you have to take established shapes and turn them into something you're not really cutting wood to customize it to your uses so much as taking plastic bricks that exist and then formatting them together into something and I consider sort of that more my skill set than being like this great carpenter or this great builder or anything like that it was more taking what I know and trying to figure out how to make it work from objects that already exist as much as possible to reduce the load of having to build it myself. Because number one, that would take time that I didn't have. And that was my biggest challenge was time. There was a lot I could have done with enough time, but a lot of the time I was living in here trying to build it out and I had a day, a single day to get a project done. So if I got it wrong, I would have to cancel the whole project for the day and start over on a new day and I just didn't have that kind of time. I knew if I got a cabinet from Target, Walmart, whatever and it was the right dimensions or a tabletop or anything like that, any of the things I've used where I just flat out bought it and installed it, 
it would reduce the amount of time that I had to dedicate to a project and get me to a functional home faster. And I had to prioritize that. I didn't have a shop. I didn't have open space with unlimited hours. I had to also think about always sleeping in the box truck that night with every project that I started. And so the easiest way for me to get to my end goal was to use cabinetry that already exists. Besides the fact building cabinets is a pain in the butt. Yes, you can get them very custom. You can waste no space, but I found ways to build around and make useful cabinets that already exist. And for me, that's just worked. And my most useful tool in this has been my measuring tape. I really love this measuring tape keychain because when I need to go into stores and make sure things will fit, I'll measure my space, write it all down, go to the store, try to figure it out before I buy it, bring it in here and realize it's going to take up more space than I want to dedicate to that object or goal. Now I will say that was bigger than I planned it to be, but honestly, mostly it's worked out. And now that I've added the motion lights, battery operated motion lights really really simple underneath the cabinet it's making really really easy to keep things the way they are because it works so there's no need to tear it apart all right that's all i got for this video i'll see you in the next one i lied there's one more thing i want to talk about i want to talk about my windows namely the big window and the small window it's another project that didn't really get focused but I did have to trim out the windows in between installing the walls and installing the tabletops and cabinets. And that project I am pretty proud of, even though again, I went into Home Depot and found white pieces of wood that could act as trim and all I had to do was cut them to size. So I was constantly and always looking for shortcuts. And usually they'd say, don't shortcut. But when you're living in a box truck while building it out, sometimes you need a few shortcuts. All right, that's it. This video is hopefully going to post on Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody. And as I sign off on this video, I'm going to do my usual spiel to remind you that I am at the mercy of the YouTube algorithm. So you leaving those thumbs up leaving a comment, interacting with the video, watching it till the very end, watching a few ads occasionally, all that stuff helped keeps me on here, making videos, and everybody who stuck with me through 2021 and will follow me into 2022. Heck, even if you don't follow me into 2022, and this is the end of our time together. Thank you so much for being here, for watching videos, for interacting, and for just being you. Have a wonderful holiday, however you celebrate it.